Hello everyone. In this video, we will study about modern periodic table. It is also called a long form of periodic table. Modern periodic table was built by H. G. J. Mosley. He discovered that the atomic number is a better basis of classifying elements than atomic weight. On the basis of his work, he developed the modern periodic law, which states that the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic numbers. This is modern periodic table. You may see here that the elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic number. Here, hydrogen with atomic number 1 and lithium with atomic number 3 have similar properties. Then after some elements, there comes sodium with properties similar to hydrogen and lithium. It shows that when the elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic numbers, the properties of elements are repeated means there is periodicity in properties of elements and this periodicity in properties is related to their atomic numbers. That's why it is said that the physical and chemical properties of elements are the periodic function of their atomic numbers. So, the modern periodic table is defined as a table or chart in which various elements have been arranged in order of increasing atomic numbers such that the elements having similar properties occur in same vertical column. There are 18 vertical columns in modern periodic table and these vertical columns are called groups. These groups are 1a, 2a, 3b, 4b, 5b, 6b, 7b, 8, 1b, 2b, 3b, 4a, 5a, 6a, 7a and 0. These groups are also numbered 1 to 18. As group 1 elements form strong alkalis, so they are called alkali metals. And as group 2 elements form bases and are present in earth's crust, so they are called alkaline earth metals. Group 17 elements are called halogens. The term halogen means salt producing. And group 17 elements form salts when they react with metals. Group 18 elements are called noble gases because they do not react with any other elements. The elements of groups 1, 2, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 are called main group elements or normal elements or typical elements or representative elements. The elements of group 3 to 12 are called transition elements. There are 7 horizontal rows in modern periodic table. These horizontal rows are called periods. First period has two elements, hydrogen and helium with atomic numbers 1 and 2 respectively. It is the shortest period. Second period has 8 elements with atomic numbers 3 to 10. It is a short period and the elements are known as bridge elements. The third period has 8 elements having atomic numbers 11 to 18. It is also called short period. The elements are known as typical or representative elements. The fourth period has 18 elements with atomic numbers 19 to 36. It is a long period. The fifth period has 18 elements with atomic numbers 37 to 54. It is also a long period. In sixth period, there are 32 elements having atomic numbers 55 to 86. It is called the longest period. Till now, seventh period has 31 elements having atomic numbers 87 onwards. It is an incomplete period. The elements having atomic numbers 58 to 71 are called lanthanides. And the elements having atomic numbers 90 to 103 are called actinides. The lanthanides and actinides have been placed separately at the bottom of periodic table and are collectively known as inner transition elements. Now let's know about some of the main advantages or merits of modern periodic table. The first advantage is that it simplified the study of elements as it is easy to remember and to reproduce. Second merit is that it is based upon atomic number which is more fundamental property of an atom. It relates the position of an element to its electronic configuration. We can write the electronic configuration of an element from its atomic number 
which can help us to find the position of an element in periodic table. For example, electronic configuration of magnesium is 2, 8, 2 because its atomic number is 12. From its electronic configuration, it is clear that electrons are present in three shells of magnesium and the number of shells occupied by electrons is equal to the period number of the element in periodic table. So magnesium belongs to period number 3. Then again from electronic configuration, it is clear that there are two electrons present in the valence shell which means that magnesium belongs to group 2 of periodic table. This table also explains variations and similarities in the properties of elements in terms of their outer electronic configurations. Noble gases have been assigned proper positions in this periodic table. Then, in this table, the similar elements are grouped together and the dissimilar elements have been separated. It explains trends in properties of elements more closely. In this table, there is a clear demarcation between active metals, non-metals, metalloids, transition elements, inert gases, lanthanides and actinides. This table has made the study of elements very simple and systematic, but it also has some demerits. The first demerit or drawback of this modern periodic table is that the position of hydrogen is not certain in the periodic table because the properties of hydrogen are similar to alkali metals as well as halogens. Lanthanides and actinides do not find a proper position in this periodic table. A few elements are also not arranged according to the electronic configuration. Then, this arrangement does not reflect electronic configuration of many transition elements and inner transition elements.